Hey guys, welcome to another Odin Spark video. Um, what we're going to be going over today is how to secure your WordPress page. Now, my name's Odin from Odin Spark, and I'm the one that's going to be guiding you through this particular tutorial. And it's pretty simple. As you can see, our current version is 3.4.1. As of the time of this video, that is uh, one of the older versions of WordPress, and there is a new version of WordPress that's out, which is 3.4.2. Now, I intentionally backdated our demo page, because this is not the My Morning Joe page, but our demo page, where we do most of our demoing at. So because of that, I just want to show you that one of the key things you can do key things you can do is actually going here all right and after you go here you want to make sure you keep your WordPress updated so you click on the please update now and update now once you do that it should update you to the latest version now there are sometimes, you know, they say make sure you have a backup, things of that nature. Generally, we say yes, make sure you keep a backup, especially if you're doing any major releases. Let's say 2.0 to 3.0, 3.0 to the eventual 4.0. You want to make sure you do uh, a full backup. But for these minor releases, you can pretty much get away with just doing a update without worrying about it. All right, guys, so now the next thing we're going to do is check on the theme that you have so go under appearance then go to themes and as you can see there's currently three themes loaded on my website there's a uh, fast moving there's the 2011 and the 2010 right now these two are maintained by the WordPress team and as you can see they have updates which means that there's something that they've changed on it these are the basic stuff that you can get from any WordPress site if you've watched um, any of our videos, these are basic themes you can download from WordPress, and this is another one of those you can download from WordPress. Uh, all you just do is go into the install themes area, just clicking here, and you can just select what kind of theme you want, and it will download to your page. Now, let's secure your page. One of the biggest security holes that I know of that are theme-based is if a theme uses an application known as Tim Thumb. So what we're going to do here is I opened up this little file manager guy here and I actually navigated to, let me show you where I navigated to. If you go under WP content, then you're going to go under themes, slowly but surely, there we go. And then you're going to have fast moving 2011 and 2010. Those are the names of all your themes. Now, if you were using a Tim Thumb, then you'd see something like Tim T H U M B dot P H P or Tim dot P H P. So let's double click on this and see what we got listed here. All right, as you can see, there is no Tim Thumb located here. And then images is where all the images are located at, but no Tim Thumb. That's good. Let's go back and go back. Let's go look at this one here. All right, scrolling down. Still no Tim Thumb. Good and 2012 or 2010 sorry scroll down still no tim thumb good now if you did have a tim thumb in this directory what you would do is find the file click on the file and what you would do is you could either rename it as its own file like one tim thumb or underscore underscore tim thumb something of that nature or you could just delete the file by clicking the delete button. Now, if you have one of those, um, I'm gonna show you what plugin to load to secure your website a little bit more. If you don't have one in your theme, you're pretty safe, you can skip this next step. But um, I would highly suggest this, before we move on to the next step, I highly suggest this is that if you have this theme, delete the other themes. All right, so delete, and hit okay, and delete, and hit okay. Here's the reason, and if we go back to the file manager, you'll see what I mean. We go back one. Now you only have one theme. Here's the issue, is that security holes are exploited all the time. Now, those two themes that I just deleted are the most basic themes that are installed on every WordPress page out there. So with that being one of the base themes, most hackers know if there's a security hole in one of those themes, and they know that you didn't update to the latest version, Unless you deleted them, they're going to be sitting there just waiting to be exploited. 
So the best thing to do is just to delete any extra themes that you're not using. Also, I might add to buy your themes from legitimate websites, such as the um, doing a, a, a Google search and finding uh, places like a template monster or a theme forest, something of that nature. Do not, and I repeat, do not use these uh, theme websites where they either give away a theme for free, that it's a pay for theme that they quote unquote stole and they're rebranding and publishing or using a one of these installed themes. And here's the reason the installed themes are good, but they're made by regular everyday people. These are not always been going through all like all the checks and balances of the WordPress uh, system. So because of that, there might be stuff built into it that has a hole in it and people use that to exploit it. Most paid themes are pretty solid. Um, and also most paid themes use Tim Thumb that I've noticed. So like I said, if you buy a paid theme, you get the Tim Thumb. I showed you how to delete it. Now, if you happen to be one of those people that don't have Tim Thumb, skip this next step. But here we go. We're going to break into adding a new plugin here. And we're going to do add. And now we're going to do a search for a plugin. And the plugin we're going to be looking for is this image magic engine. Do a search for that image magic engine. As you can see, it dramatically improves and resize images, making WordPress using image magic instead of your standard image application. So let's go ahead and install that now. Boom, activated. It's one of those themes, uh, one of those things you just set it and forget it. So it's already set up, no need to do anything to it. If you are trying to speed up your WordPress page, or if you're trying to um, if you have a very image intensive WordPress page, I also suggest loading this because of the fact that on several of our clients that use a lot of images, we saw a dramatic increase as far as their ability to get things done. And, uh, you know, just how much better things just loaded for them. So that's one thing you can load to make your site more secure. Now, the next thing you can do is load this little guy. WP security. Oh, sorry, I spell right. Security scan. Do a search. There it is. Install. Hit OK. Activate. Boom. There it is. Now what this does, it actually does a security scan of your machine and then tell you um, pertinent information. Now this part here is blurred out. I don't want you guys to see this, but this is all the information about um, my WordPress site, how things are designed, how things are set up, and it's 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 pretty good if you if you want to know all these things. Now let's go ahead and you can run a scanner. Now the scanner will sit down and it'll sit back and scan your machine, saying this is what things should be set up. Here's how they are set up currently. Um, as I stated, this is our demo page. So this is right out the box. This is normally for people who um, did their own installation because you set your own permissions. We did one of those out of the box installations. If you saw, it was just clicking a button. So the system did all that for us. Um, the password tool, you can actually get a password generated here for you or you can type a password in. Um, you got your database part where you can run a backup of your database, uh, which is all great and lovely like that there. So go through this tool. It will tell you what things need to be fixed, what things need to be changed to make your site a little bit more secure, which is something that all of us need. Next thing is you can do add another plugin. It's called the login lockdown. Install that bad boy. Activate. Boom. Let's see what we got here. Security scan, login, lockdown. There we go. <clears throat> what it does, it only allows you to log in three times onto the actual uh, website before it actually locks you out. I made a mistake and I thought that it made uh, oh there we go I was I didn't see it the last time anyways here we go so you can get a max retries of three 
Um, retry period restriction is in five minutes. Lockout length is 60 minutes. Lockout individual usernames. You can set yes or no. Mask login errors, yes or no. You want to keep that on, so you want to set that to no as far as masking it. But what this does is that people try to use what they call brute force. Everybody knows wp-admin is your WordPress admin login page. But by setting this, it then stops them. So even if you have the username admin, it will allow the person to only log in three times. And then after that, it locks the account for 60 minutes. So what most brute force um, programs do is that it keeps slamming the website with a bunch of requests until something gives. What you're doing with this is that you're allowing it to slam it only three times and then every 60 minutes it gets blocked. Every 60 minutes it gets blocked. Most brute force sites, after the first two or three times it gets locked, they're not even gonna bother because like it's, it's taking too long and they wanna move on with their lives. So you can go ahead and load that as well. And then we're gonna load this last plugin here. This is Ask Apache Password Protect. And don't worry, I'll put all the names of this stuff in the um, in the uh, description of the video. Okay, we're gonna activate this plugin. And there we go. Okay, new version is coming soon. All right, so basically what it's doing is it's adding this long string of codes. And it's going to make sure that in your dot access, which is I'm saying dot dot H T access uh, location that it has this in here that will prevent people from just bombarding your website. So we're going to initiate the test. Okay, functionality, all greens. So we've got one one little red guy here. So this is an issue that needs to be looked at. This is an issue that needs to be looked at. Good here, it needs to get looked at. Bummer, you don't have the digest compatibility. Yeah, who cares? But as you can see, it comes back with a lot of these little things. Um, it's a pretty good little, little, little plugin. Let's see, we're gonna continue the next step here. And what we're gonna do after we have all this set up, Set it up to basic. Okay. Call this. Okay. Now go down. I think it's. Huh funny how it works in Chrome and how it changes from fail to create password file which isn't a big deal because it still has all the rest of these things here so basically what this does once it's set up properly you can then go down and then activate all these different things and it tells you what it does what you're trying to do and it will basically block it out um, this one here no comments it, it, there's there's a plugin that actually blocks comments on your website and I would I would highly suggest looking up no comment under the um, plugin area and activating that if you get tired of getting spam plugins um, spam plugins but spam uh, comments you can turn that on uh, it just means your site can't get comments anymore but like I said, guys, um, fail creating this, not a big deal, but you can go through here and activate each one of these little bad boys as you see fit to lock down your website even more. It might require you to know a little bit about what's going on, but thanks to these lovely little descriptions, you get an idea of what to use and what not to use. But that's it. I know this was a particularly long video, but securing your website is worthwhile. I mean, Seriously, they, I can't even tell you when we first started doing WordPress pages that we pretty much thought WordPress was uh, pretty secure. But the more and more 
we implemented WordPress on different clients, we noticed that WordPress is pretty much a, what they call a vanilla program, which means that it doesn't have much to offer. You have to make it what you wanted to make it. So with all that being said, guys, I hope this helped you guys a lot. I hope you learned a lot about securing your WordPress pages. And I hope that you guys actually can sit down now and take 30 minutes out of your day Lock down that WordPress page of yours so these hackers won't be taking over your websites because there's nothing more discouraging to me than to wake up and see that your site was hacked, all right? So from all the people here at OdinSpark.com, we thank you for watching this video. We ask you to tell people about us on Twitter and Facebook, like this video, share it with your friends, tell more people about us, and subscribe to the channel, all right? So from Odin here from OdinSpark.com, I just want to thank you for listening to this video, and uh, hey, I guess we'll go ahead and do another video coming up real soon. And uh, you might want to check in because uh, the video is going to be about how to optimize your WordPress page. See what we did there? We showed you how to secure it. Next thing we're going to do is show you how to optimize it. So tune in next time as we show you how to optimize your WordPress page. Till then, talk to you later.